afternoon, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. This is ZNS News Update, live at 2 o'clock. Here's what's making news at this hour. The nation's leader, Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, assuring Bahamians that the government is committed to doing whatever it can to alleviate ongoing load shedding by Bahamas Power and Light. The Prime Minister indicated in a statement issued from the Office of the Prime Minister Wednesday night, the Cabinet met with executives and the board of the Bahamas Power and Light Company to discuss the unacceptable state of power generation here in New Providence. Director of Labor John Pinder says there are studies being done to assess minimum or even a livable wage within the public sector. Mr. Pinder informed our news team that as expenses have increased due to value added tax and other expenses, the question has been pitched on whether or not minimum wage, wage will increase from $210. And the countdown is on to the start of the Free National Movement Torchbearers Youth Association's 2019 conference that starts tonight at the Melia Nassau Beach All-Inclusive Resort. The conference is being held under the theme of Future Secured, hashtag access granted. You can tune into live coverage of the event starting tonight at 8 o'clock. Details of those stories and more coming up in our two-hour national newscast that all begins at 6 p.m. We hope to see you then. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Thanks so much for tuning in.